Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the stream filtering. So the filter method allows us to pick streams of elements which satisfied a predicate. For example, consider we have a list which contains list of strings. And here from list as we had seen in last a uh, few couple of video tutorial from list we can create a stream by calling a stream method which is available in the collection interface and this will give you the intermediate result or intermediate this is called intermediate operation and again we are calling filter method on this and we are passing every elements uh, of the list and checking whether each elements is contain containing a letter s or not right and this api finally returns us the, the stream itself the explanation is on the bottom the following code creates a stream uh, of the list finds all elements of the of this stream which contains char d and creates a new stream containing only the filtered elements so if you want to filter the elements from the list using a stream then that is possible so this is just a theoretical insight high level insight uh, we'll see uh, how we can demonstrate using uh, eclipse so our next concept we are going to see in this same video uh, matching so stream api gives a handy set of instructions to validate elements of a sequence according to some predicate to do this one of the following methods can be used like we have any match all match none match their names are self-explanatory those are terminal operations which returns you a boolean operation so basically when you call the any of this method this gives you the terminal results means final results so first of all you need to create a stream from list and you can call any of these methods and you can pass the predicate so this will turn, return you the true or false value so here is eclipse let's go ahead and create a java project with name stream filter and match api test and here i have created project let's create a package com dot info and in this package i'm going to copy some of the classes which it, uh, I had created in my previous video tutorial that is nothing but this it's a simple model class it's called a student right let me explain you this class what is all about this so this is a basically a model class a student who's who is having two properties and I'm trying to initialize this property using constructor and finally we have a getter setter methods for these properties so here basically we don't require a setter so setter happily we can remove setter method we can happily remove but we have a public getter method and finally we have a two string method so that we can print the state of object in the nice format so now let's create a client program in the same package i would get the client uh, client program name as a client test which will have a main method and some of the code snippet I'm going to copy from my previous example. So here this code snippet I'm copying from my previous example. Just to save some time I've copied this code. And let me close my previous project. And here come to this project now. Now here I have created a list. And in this list, this is a student of list and here I have add some student object and basically I'm going to show here how we can perform filtering operation on stream API. So basically we can create a stream from list right we have a stream API in collection interface which can be inherited by list right so we have a stream now a stream API now stream has 
now this is intermediate operation which returns you the stream itself now we can call a method is called filter which x which uh, gives you to supply a predicate right so here filter and s i mean arrow which is this is the sign of uh, lambda expression now s dot i'm calling get name so we have a getter method in a student class and i would like to check a student name which contains or you can say you can apply some logic on a get age a student age whose age is greater than greater than uh, 25 right so those uh, list I want to get as a stream so so we have a filtered list right now if you iterate this stream now we can apply for each loop which gives you to supply consumer object so that is nothing but the system dot out and double colon print ln right so this way you can print elements which are available in this stream if i iterate it then you can check it out so what are the elements have been filtered from list and that is kept into this stream so now kk rk and pk whose age is greater than 25 that's why uh, these elements are present in this stream so this way we can perform filtering criteria now next thing we are going to discuss about the so when i go to the stream class which is in java dot util stream class then here you can press ctrl o sorry press ctrl o and search for a star then match right so we have a three api right any match all match and none match and these are these api basically performs as a terminal operation and which returns you boolean or boolean value so here let's demonstrate this api as well so here i would like to call a stream method on this list again stream and a stream again you can call all match right all match and here i'm going to check we can write a lambda expression s dot get name and i want to check whether all name contains a letter like k or not so here i have added only few elements but in real scenario you might have a millions of record so here if i try to print the what we are expecting we are expecting as a true value because all names contains a letter k so let's check it out what's the output if i run it so here we go we got the true value and this is our expected result now next api i'm going to show you again and as we have discussed earlier stream cannot be used once stream has been consumed you cannot reuse it so that's why i'm creating a stream again from my source that is nothing but the list and here i'm going to check uh, all match we have seen now any match right now any match i'm going to loop here i'm going to specify a lambda expressions s arrow s dot age and just i want to check in this list up uh, is there any person who whose age is greater than particular limit so here i'm going to specify limit like 35 years so if any of a uh, person whose age is more than 35 then this is going to return us true value so so uh, if you, your list size is too huge then you cannot check manually but here for demo purpose just i have added few elements only so here if you look into the this list then of course we have a person whose name is rk whose age is greater than 35 so of course we are expecting to results from this call as well 
this API as well. So if I try to print any match, then this is going to return us true again. And here we got the result. Now final matching API is all match. All match we have seen. So final API, if you check, all match we have seen any match and one more method should be there uh, that is nothing but none match none match right and here i'm going to specify pre, pre, i mean lambda expression is dot get age and i'm checking uh, is greater than 55 must be a senior citizens portion and if I try to print it none match if none of the elements has been matched then this is going to return us true and here we got the true value right but here if I go and add one more elements dk and whose age i'm going to specify 80 then what would be the return type of last hop so if i run it then this guy is going to return as false because one of the elements in the list one of the person in the list whose age is 80 which is greater than 55 that's why this guy is returning us false result so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial in next video tutorial i'm going to come up with some more concept on the stream api so please be with me over there and i request you to please subscribe my youtube channel so that you'll get intimation about my new video uploads and thanks for watching this video